I may not come from the ghetto, I may not have come from poverty, but I know what it's like to come from the streets. It's the same discrimination that I'm being subjected to, it's the same discrimination that the NWA boys had from the police when they were just minding their own business. You can turn it round. People want to take a jibe at me saying you're stealing this from black culture when it's actually discriminating against me, you know, and all these people that are hating, they represent a very small percentage of the, the British public. Okay, a couple of famous people like Professor Green and Lily Allen have taken a jibe at me. 50 Cent, Snoop Dogg, Robbie Williams, Rag and Bone Man have all endorsed me. And in a way, I felt that Professor Green was trying to kind of start a beef war. And I'm not about beef. That's, you know, I'm not about beef. 50 Cent, obviously, he came forward when they, they started, people came, were attacking me about this um, cultural appropriation stuff. 50 Cent went to the press and he was like, no way, you know, like, Honey G's cool. Um, and, and again, Snoop told the press that he wanted to give me a record deal if I didn't get through to the live shows or if Simon Cow didn't put me through to live shows. So, you know, I've had these big celebrity endorsements from major US hip hop stars. But I personally don't take any notice about the negative comments because I know that they don't represent the majority of the British public. I mean, let's not forget, I did come fifth in X Factor. The songs that I've written, they're all about my experiences in my life and what what's happened in my life. And, you know, to me, I see it as celebrating music and celebrating culture when I'm performing hip hop songs. Um, and I believe music is, is for sharing. You know, it's my ambition one day to get a MOBA award.